So our promise was established 14 years ago by cancer specialists here in Garland County that saw a greater need for uh, more than just medical assistance for cancer patients. Treatment is expensive and what those people saw was patients choosing to not receive their treatment just so that they could pay their bills. Uh, and we just, as an organization, saw the need and wanted to help. The Young Men in Distinction program started with just uh, like 12 boys and then we grew to 16 and then about 25 and uh, this past year we had our record group of 100 boys from six different school districts here in uh, Garland County and so it's really awesome to see it grow this year we have 101 and these guys go out in the community they don't just work for our promise they volunteer at Jackson House or local community events the, a lot of different things here in the community and they are, um, it's been really cool to see them step out of their comfort zone to help and serve, but also to learn about different things um, that are here in our community and to be ambassadors for our program. Their ultimate goal is to share what our promise is with others and help us raise money to keep, keep going. Another thing we've been able to do is offer scholarships for these um, boys too every year. And, um, just to reward them for their for their work because they truly are distinct by being chosen to be a part of the program and then also representing us in a professional way out in our community. Uh, we've been really proud of the way that they've represented us and um, being able to award their efforts with college scholarships has been really great. Favorite thing about Wymon is. Um... Uh, obviously, like I said earlier, being able to uh, talk to new people, experience that side of things, and just being able to help the community alone. So welcome to the Our Promise House. This is our uh, biggest, biggest project yet. It's a legacy project that we have been saving for for a decade now and now it's finally becoming a reality and we're so excited to be able to have this. This is a 10 room house for cancer patients that are receiving treatment to stay completely free of charge while they're here for treatment. And we're just really thrilled to have it and have a place for them to stay and rest in between treatment. So the Our Promise House is going to have 10 rooms for patients to stay in. Each of the rooms was funded by um, families, usually in memory of someone, um, and they have done all the funding and some of them have come in and done the furnishings for the rooms. Each one will have a little unique touch to it. Uh, I'd like to show you around, so come on in. I'll show you the Mountain Harbor room. Welcome to room one. Um, like you can see, it's set up a lot like a hotel room. Um, patients will have a microwave, fridge, coffee maker, ice maker for them to use while they're here. Um, a lot of our patients, they come, they, you know, they're used to coming to treatment five days a week for um, six weeks at a time and driving two hours each way. And this is going to give them an opportunity to come for treatment during the week, have a place to rest between treatment and not wear themselves out driving back and forth. Um, and then they'll go home on the weekend. So each room has two queen-size beds. Um, they'll be here with a caregiver. Uh, the headboards, our Young Men Extinction actually, as one of their service projects, built these with donated supplies. Um, it saved us a lot of money and they turned out really great. They did a great job, so all the rooms will have the same headboards. But the furnishings in each room will be a little bit different. This one, all of them will have a fireplace and a TV um, and a recliner. Um, a lot of our patients, they'll be here and they're gonna be really sick. So um, getting around, we're going to have a rolling tray. There's not one in here right now, but there's a rolling tray that they can move around as a table. And then a really cool feature that we really are proud of is these racks that will roll because some of our patients aren't going to be able to get out of the bed. Um, they're going to be really sick. They'll be able to pull this over the bed like this and eat or if they need to work, some of them are still working. It'll give them a way to prop up in bed and be more comfortable that way. 